Hello, I'm Igor and welcome to another filament testing video. And these two filaments are sent to me by the eSAN. They have a new product, it is a EPLA HF, high flow PLA filament. And according to the specifications, uh, they balance the melt flow index and the melt temperature. So this filament can be printed even on a higher speeds and it, it can be cooled down very quickly without the deformation. On the promotional video, I can see they use the Bamboo Lab and the uh, FSA Super Racer. And uh, I'm curious actually if I will have successful prints because uh, I have here PLA Plus for the reference. And actually I experienced this with some filaments and uh, CD printers. If the part cooling is not good enough, those vertical test objects uh, for the layer attention test uh, have big overhang and sometimes that uh, small area don't have time to cool down properly and it curls up and I have problems with those printings and usually I have to slow down the printing that part. I'm curious if you already have successful prints with PLA Plus 2 or I have to slow down the printing. HF also arrived in a box but it was full of stickers from the shipping company. I can see more and more companies are slowly moving to the cardboard spools. And here we have some basic information about print temperature. What I'm missing here is the weight of the empty spool and they could place some kind of scale on this hole. As you can see the HF will be in this blue color and the PLA Plus in white color. For the testing I need fast printer and this is a Kingrung's KP3S clipper based printer and it is able to print on very high speeds. Filament is changed and I'm printing the temperature tower from 230 degrees Celsius down to 210 degrees Celsius. This is the bridging moment. This is the last element and I had some problems, you can see the corner broke off. But I left it finished and it was printed in 17 minutes only, so this is extremely fast printing. Now let's take a closer look of this temperature tower, which um, I could say it is okay. The biggest problem is this part here broke off on the lowest temperature element, but the overhang and the bridging looks great. Another maybe problem I can see this curling up in the corners. I'm printing all test objects at once on 220 degrees Celsius. And uh, I can recognize the problem, this is typical sign of the over extruding. But I wanted to be sure that this is not the problem in the filament, so I changed the filament to PLA+. Color is changed. First I start with the temperature tower, and the same problem appeared here on the lowest temperature element. That corner on the lowest temperature element broke off. But I left it to be finished. Let's analyze this temperature tower side by side and first of all to mention that it looks like 210 degrees Celsius is a little bit too low, especially for these higher speeds. Some weaker layer adhesion we had here and uh, then just a little bit side force and this part removed from the original object, but interesting that it was uh, finished. Overhang looks good and the bridging too and the only problem I can see here is this curling up but I know that this is because of these uh, higher speeds but here it was bigger compared to this uh, PLA Plus. Then I started with the printing of the test objects and the same problem appeared here so definitely this is the problem with the over extruding so I had to check this. Uh, I marked here the line and I extruded exactly 50 millimeters of the filament that point was on 60 millimeters. There's a marking, so instead of 50 millimeters, it extruded 61 millimeters. But uh, these are still factory settings, so no wonder it is uh, over extruding. In printer config file, I have to change the rotation distance. I have to increase it so to reduce the extrusion. And this time the printing was perfect. And after this, I printed these objects for the layer attention test. I'm printing here four pieces at once and also I have that cylinder in the center because I don't want this to slow down because of that minimal layer printing time. And this is now the second filament. It was finished correctly. Here you can see the difference between the over extruded object and normally printed. I didn't notice earlier because uh, so far I always printed with some infill and when the object is hollow inside there is a space for the material to go. But when it is solid inside, uh, the material cannot go inside and that's why we can see these uh, overexploding marks on the object. And even the weight is very different between these two objects. All objects are printed ready for mechanical testing and I believe that uh, in this video the most important will be the layer adhesion test. 
because the PLA Plus is great filament and I know when it is printed slower on, I don't know, industry 60 millimeters per second or slower, it has great layer adhesion. Printed faster, I know it has to be printed on higher temperatures, but I was following the instructions on the spool and uh, probably we should see some difference in the layer adhesion, at least I hope so. So the PLA Plus should have here much weaker layer adhesion compared to the HF. So these are those vertically printed test objects. Each of them broke correctly on the smallest cross-section area and the brake load was similar in both cases but I believe it was too weak uh, and uh, this means that uh, on these higher speeds definitely it requires a higher printing temperature. One important thing I forgot that actually the Kingrun is equipped with the stainless steel nozzle by default and I know that uh, with the stainless steel I have to raise the temperature at least 10 degrees Celsius when I'm using it on the slower printer. On these higher speeds, probably this difference is even bigger. Actually, the Kingrun offered me to test their CHT like uh, nozzles, and probably the reason. Anyway, I will not reprint these test objects uh, again. Uh, only these for the layer adhesion tests are reprinted. They are printed on ND3 S1, which is quite slow printer. Anyway, I'm just curious about the layer adhesion when it is printed significantly slower. Now this is a completely different story. Now I have actually a great layer adhesion, which I already experienced this with the PLA Plus earlier. But this means if you want to print on those higher speeds, definitely we should raise the print temperature. But also I learned from this test that I couldn't experience any significant difference between these two filaments. And now the tensile test with the horizontally printed objects. And I'm starting with PLA Plus. And this is very unusual breaking form. Basically, it failed because of some kind of delamination. Now, in this test, the high flow version was stronger, but in both cases, I can see this kind of delamination during the break. So, if they don't break on the small succession error, this is typical sign of the weaker layer adhesion, and this just confirmed my previous measuring. Two-sided shear stress, and these objects are printed horizontally, and they are not sensitive to the settings, and uh, both objects perform very, very good in this test. The torque or twist test uh, where I want to measure the load at 90 degree angle and the maximum load and for this I'm using this uh, torque meter. Another proof of weak layer adhesion on these higher speeds, uh, but yes, in this case the HF version was better, but far from perfect. The isot impact test with this half kilogram hammer. PLA plus. Oh. High flow PLA. Well, to be honest, I'm a little bit confused what's happening here. <laughs> this is first time I can see this with the PLA that the uh, test object is not broken with this half kilogram hammer. Maybe a weaker layer adhesion absorbed, it created some elasticity and absorbed that impact, so I'm not really sure. <laughs> Interesting. Just to set aside my curiosity, I reprinted these test objects on NS3 S1 and also I will include here one regular PLA filament which is quite brittle and I'm curious, will they also survive this half kilogram hammer or not? PLA plus and the 3S1. Zero position. High flow PLA. And this time they were very brittle, uh, no need for the third material testing. But uh, this means that printed slower, it acts like a regular PLA. I'm not quite sure what's happening here, but I believe that uh, with that weaker layer adhesion, it acted like a leaf spring or something like that, which compensated that impact from the hammer. And now three point bending test, and I'm placing the loads one by one, and I'm measuring the deformation after 1, 30 and uh, 60 seconds. 
this is speed up 25 times and I can see HF is better because I can see less deformation on it. And basically no visual deformation on both objects. It's time for the temperature test in the oven. I have this M10 nut as a small load. And as always, I have uh, several experiments in the progress, uh, but this third one is also a PLA. And I will measure the temperature with this cooking thermometer. And this is speed up without 25 times. And approximately on 54, 55 degrees Celsius, they start with the deform. But interesting, the PLA plus uh, stop with the deforming. And actually I can see it has a better shape or less deformation compared to the high flow PLA. For the filling they are equally soft, all three actually. And here you can see the permanent deformation after this test is bigger on the high flow version. It's time to summary the results in this Excel table, which you can download from my website, but uh, it will not go to that summary table for my Patreon supporters because um, I think uh, these settings are not correct, especially because that uh, printer was equipped with the hardened steel nozzle, which I noticed only later. Anyway, so these are my print settings, and uh, as I mentioned, so this was printed on Clipper Base KP3S which is very fast but hard another was inside and I believe that in that case the print temperature should be higher. Only for the layer attention test uh, I have some test objects printed on Ender 3 S1. Now let's see that layer adhesion. Oh, let's analyze the graph. And uh, here you can see when it was printed very fast, uh, I had a break load of approximately 20 kg, which is um, okay. But definitely when I print uh, slow, uh, this was a huge difference and a very good layer adhesion I have with uh, both filaments. In both cases, the HF version was just a little bit better, but this is not significant difference. And the tensile test uh, was well quite weak, but because of the delamination, because uh, those test objects were printed too fast. The shear stress it is independent from the print settings or the layer adhesion, and both filaments perform great in this test. The bending test um, this is the deformation after 30 seconds under these loads, but uh, this is more important table where I have these deformations. Uh, after 1, 30 and 60 seconds. And here we can see the lower values are better, so the HF is better from this aspect compared to the PLA plus because it has less deformation. And until 5 kg this line is almost horizontal, so there is no additional deformation, no creeping. Mm, on 10 kg this is almost horizontal, but this looks like it is too big load for these filaments because it is soft with deforming even after 1 minute. Torque or twist test uh, very weak in this uh, test because of that delamination again <laughs> on impact test uh, you saw in the video uh, no brakes under half kilogram hammer it act like a leaf spring and this uh, absorb that uh, impact from this half kilogram hammer and a temperature well uh, both started to deform on 54 degrees Celsius now on PLA plus I saw later uh, slower deformation when I raised the temperature up to 100 degrees Celsius so basically from this aspect it was a little bit better another conclusions and actually some of them are related to the Kingron's uh, printer this is actually so great printer with uh, fantastic mechanics small printer clipper based very fast but so unfinished product I mean, all of those uh, problems can be solved by the experienced users, but the real question is why it's not finished in the factory? Just a little bit tuning and, and uh, it can be a fantastic printer. Now about these filaments, uh, mostly the PLA HF. Mm, I couldn't experience so big difference compared to the PLA Plus, but don't be confused. So the Eastern PLA Plus is one of my favorite uh, filaments where I need some kind of mechanical parts which can be used uh, from PLA material because of course PLA has some limitations. Now this uh, it depends on the testing and most of the test was just a little bit better. Now I was expecting the biggest difference in the layer adhesion and actually here I couldn't see so big a difference. Don't be confused, so it can be used on the higher speed printers too, 
but I believe that uh, we cannot use these recommended settings but uh, in that case we always have to raise the print temperature so um, maybe I should raise here to 230 or maybe even to 40 degrees Celsius and in that case I have no problems printing on those uh, higher speeds too. If you have some additional experience or maybe you can suggest me some uh, testing methods how can I test these uh, high speed uh, PLA filaments because more and more companies have very similar products and they are coming here to this channel too. Ah yes, uh, one more thing. Uh, I can see that a lot of uh, manufacturers are forcing these cardboard spools. Now, they're also targeting uh, Bamboo Lab printers and don't forget, uh, the AMS uh, don't recommend using cardboard spools inside. Of course, we can rewind the spool to the bamboo holders uh, but that's that's another plus, I don't know how many minutes, but don't forget the bamboo lab can eat one spool in a day almost. Uh, of course there are some other solutions, placing a ring around the uh, cardboard, but uh, I had one accident when that ring fell down and I have the failed printing, so the cardboard spools are not going into my AMS. So maybe the manufacturers should think over this decision. Uh, if they are designing uh, filaments for high speed printers, mostly the bamboo lab AMS, so that's not the secret. In that case, maybe they should try to place that on the plastic spools. What is your opinion about this? I hope I can get some useful suggestions, comments. Thank you for watching and happy printing!